to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rang along the bombs bursting in air gave proof She's gently winding waters that soon become the Gulf's deep royal blue. In majesty above the halls of Springstead, the valiant eagle seeks his home so true. And here the noble eagle sons and daughters, whose own courageous spirits soar on high, where red, white, and blue with pride and honor to praise our alma mater Springstead, Springstead High. Greetings esteemed teachers, faculty, and fellow graduates, and welcome to all friends and family who have supported our Eagles. My name is Tatiana Quiroz Osaba and I am honored to be standing amongst the best and brightest of Springstead High School. But more importantly, to stand with the valiant young men and women who have chosen to enlist. Thank you on behalf of everyone for your dedication, commitment, and willingness to serve. While many high school seniors are making plans to go to college, technical school, or enter the workforce, I understand that many of you have already headed off to boot camp and the rest will soon follow. It is inspiring the dedication exhibited by these young adults in their sacrifice for our country, despite the odds. They may face conflict and tragedy in the years to come, but may their continued dedication to our founding principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness be unwavering. And may they forever protect the freedoms we are so privileged to hold as Americans. As I am honored for my academic perseverance, similarly, I would invite you all to congratulate these young heroes for their perseverance of spirit. And now, Lieutenant Colonel Sweetwine will announce the names of the enlisted. Good evening. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Daryl Sweetwine, one of the junior ROTC instructors here at FW Springstead High School. Myself, along with Chief Master Sergeant Ty Williams, administer the Air Force Junior ROTC program here at Springstead High. At this time, I'd like to recognize graduates who are entering our nation's military upon graduation. The U.S. Navy, Elijah Lorenstein, United States Air Force. Andrew Alzola, United States Air Force. Alana Valentonio, United States Air Force. Anthony Crisanti, United States Air Force. Giselle Hollingsworth, United States Air Force. Sarah Howe, United States Air Force. Aaron Kemper, United States Air Force. 
Joshua King, United States Air Force, Daniel Marie Martino, United States Air Force, Bradley Meisner, United States Air Force, Kara Ottelson, United States Air Force, United States Marine Corps, Kyle Desmond, United States Marine Corps, Sebastian Lopez Pires, United States Marine Corps, Lowry Garcia Ventura, United States Marine Corps, Ethan Gunter, United States Marine Corps, Damian Maldonado, United States Marine Corps, Stephanie Trotafalu, United States Marine Corps, Wade Van Sickle, United States Marine Corps, U.S. Army, Brian Colombo, United States Army, Randy Ballou, United States Army, David Ferrer, United States Army, Natalia Gayet, United States Army, William Nelson, United States Army, Ashton Longoria, United States Army, Nahira Ramos, United States Army, James Cox, United States Army, United States Coast Guard, Liam Odin, United States Coast Guard, Matthew Stalter, United States Coast Guard, the Florida Army National Guard, Justin Sam, Florida Army National Guard. Thank you all for deciding to serve our great nation. God speed to you all. Hello, families, friends, teachers, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. I am Juyon Han, and I am honored to have the opportunity to speak today. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 at Springstead High School. I want to thank all parents, families, and friends for their love and constant support, as well as to the faculty and staff of Springstead for their guidance and patience. We truly owe you for all that we are. High school has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, whatever it may hold. These past four years have involved some of the most memorable and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here are unique, but together we share a common bond as members of the graduating class. Even without being more traditional, this is possibly the most special graduation ceremony Springstead has ever seen. I am filled with excitement and anticipation as the next stage in our lives are about to begin. Together, we have persevered through multiple world crises, which I believe has made us stronger and resilient to fight through any obstacles that may arise. Classmates, fellow graduates, I wish you all good luck for the coming years in our lives. Thank you, Juyan, for your welcome. My name is William Ahn, and I have the honor of being able to introduce some of the individuals who have made this year possible. For all of us graduating, High school was the first step in setting our pace towards adulthood. This accomplishment is a great one, but before we can celebrate ourselves, we must remember those essential to our success. Please join me in thanking Mr. John Stratton, our Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Lisa Cropley, our Director of Student Support Services, Ms. Gina Michalika, our Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning, Ms. Susan Duval, our School Board Chairperson, Ms. Linda K. Prescott, our school board vice chairperson, Mr. Gus Guadagnino, Ms. K. Hatch, and Mr. Jimmy Lodato, our school board members, Mrs. Dana Pierce, our principal, Mr. Rick Markford, Mr. John Weaver, Mrs. Kim Buford, and Mrs. Leslie Saxer, our assistant principals, Ms. Vanessa Suffolk, and Mr. Brandon Wright, our senior class sponsors. Additionally, I would also like to recognize our incredible teachers and staff. Thank you all for your dedication to our enrichment, safety, readiness, and development. On behalf of the class of 2020, thank you for making all of this possible. Hello everyone. My name is Isabel Carley, and I am very honored to be here with everyone and introduce the salutatorian for the class of 2020, Anessa Felipe Pate. She has earned the privilege of speaking today because of her hard work and persistence over the past four years. She has done a fantastic job academically within the IB program, as well as dedicated herself to giving back to our community through volunteering and participating in various clubs, such as Beta Club and National Honor Society. 
Her exceptional achievements have not gone unnoticed by colleges across the region and is excited to announce that she will be attending Emory University in the fall. She plans to major in biochemistry on a pre-dental track as a member of the STEM Pathways program, where I know she will thrive and prevail over any obstacle that she may encounter. In addition to being an outstanding academic student, it is with personal experience that I can attest to her kindness and generosity as a friend. I first met Anessa freshman year when I found myself in countless classes filled with people I did not know. She could probably tell that I was shy and almost a bit scared because she decided to move and fill that empty seat next to me to make sure I would not be alone. She introduced me to all of her friends and made me feel like part of the group even though I was just a random girl in her first period math class. She may have thought nothing of it, but it truly meant the world to me and is the reason that my high school experience was a positive one. Although our paths will split, I know that Anessa has left a large impact on my life as well as many others here. I'm certain she will continue to be a great leader and encourage and inspire many with her positivity, support, and diligence. Without further ado, our salutatorian, Anessa Felipe Pate. Thank you, Isabel, for the kind words. Hello, Springstead parents, teachers, students, and staff. Graduates, this is probably not the way you pictured your senior year ending, but the class of 2020 definitely went out with a bang. Instead of prom and grad bash, we got a pandemic and murder hornets. But nonetheless, we are still graduating. Four years ago, we started on a journey of what would not only be the expansion of knowledge, but also a growth of character. We not only learned facts, but we learned to analyze and make use of them, to be critical thinkers, to break the tired goals of the past, and to advocate for ourselves and others. Our generation has already been seen executing these ideas through protests, petitions, and marches, and the fight for justice in an unjust world. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Later tonight, when we have our names called, we will have officially become high school graduates and be awarded our diplomas. However, it's the experiences and lessons of the past four years that make it more than a piece of paper. It is not only about how much more intelligent you have become, but also how much you have grown in character. In life, a diploma may get you an interview, but it's the character you display that will get you a job. Through all of our years of learning, especially the last four, there were definitely challenges and obstacles which we've had to overcome. However, these have only strengthened our character and enhanced our resilience. Especially this year, in the midst of a global pandemic, we have put aside our own desires and come together as a community to protect those around us who are vulnerable. Through empathy and unity, we have overcome, or in the case of the fight for justice, we are still working. The lessons one learns in their life should be used in their following chapters. Therefore, the lessons learned in high school should be used to usher us into adulthood. As we learn to navigate life outside of the classroom, it is the character we have gained in high school that will assist us to become compassionate and thoughtful adults. With this comes the responsibility to use one's voice to speak out against the world's injustices and atrocities. We are capable of finding the solutions to the world's problems, but nothing will change if we do not take the initiative to do so. Although it may be cliche, we are the future, and tomorrow we will be the present. And we as a generation have the power to make change. Although it will not be easy, it is necessary. In the words of Frederick Douglass, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. We must find the power in our hardships and wield it as a tool of advancement. As tonight's ceremony progresses, I urge you to reflect on how you will use your power to create change, because change will not occur unless we make it. day to the Springstead graduating class of 2020 and all of our friends and family members. Thank you for being here with us today. My name is Ella Holcomb and I would like to acknowledge how hard we have all worked toward this moment and the tremendous effort we have all put forward to sit here today. However, we need to take extra time to appreciate the students who have gone above and beyond for all of us, our class officers. Throughout our time together at Springstead, they have organized a variety of fun events for us all to participate in from prom last year to this year's homecoming, as well as various spring fling events. Our class officers have gone to great lengths to help make our time at Springstead as enjoyable as possible, and have worked hard to make sure things run smoothly. This is the first year we have had five class officers, and they have done a fantastic job. They have been capable and transparent liaisons between our class and the rest of the school. Without further ado, I would like you all to join me in welcoming our class officers to the stage. Hello everyone, my name is Katie Johnson and I have had the pleasure of being one of your senior representatives this year. 
On behalf of the senior class officers, I would like to say thank you to our students, staff, teachers, and administrators for making these four years of high school absolutely incredible. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Today, I would like to talk to you all about our senior symbol, the globe. This symbol portrays global engagement and is representative of acceptance and tolerance for all the exceptional people that we share a planet with. And for that very reason, this symbol was handpicked for our senior class. The class of 2020 demonstrates a selfless concern for the environment and the implications we all have on Mother Nature. Through environmental consciousness, such as organized campus cleanups by IB students, athletes, and ROTC, for example, we have seen our class make an effort to better the place we all call home. On another note, our class also has an inspirational love and acceptance for people of all kinds, as we are open to learning about, learning about and befriending those who look different from us, live in different places, subscribe to different faiths, or eat different foods. In this way, we have become true global learners who better understand our place in the world. As we leave the comfort of our homes and enter the big world, this graduating class will not fail to remain cognizant of the people, places, and things that need our help and will, without a doubt, stand up for change when we deem it necessary. Hello, my name is Diana Conson, and I'm one of our graduating class representatives. I'm going to be talking about our class quote. In the words of Barack Obama, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Throughout the past several months, we have all learned about the concept of change. Change can be gradual, or it can be instant. Events we were so certain of being a part of, like Spring Fling Week, Prom, Grad Bash, and Graduation, did not happen because of an unexpected change. It makes you think about the significance of appreciating everything in the moment before it's gone, very much like our memories of high school. The journey after high school will be another change for us all. So as former President Obama said, we are the change that we seek. We are in control of our future. Setting goals and being successful is greatly within our grasp. The future may be scary, but we have already accomplished so much because of our hard work and dedication. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Hi, everyone. My name is Colton Duvall, and I have had the pleasure of serving as a Class of 2020 representative. I just want to start out by saying I am so proud of us all. We made it. I'm going to talk a little about our class flower, a white rose. The white rose has been around for thousands of years, and yet we still honor it today. Why is that? It has a legacy, a lasting impact on the world, much like our own class of 2020. In order to survive changes surrounding it, the rose has had to be adaptable to fit the role it was put in. Historically, it has been used as a currency, as a medicine, and has even symbolized governments. Many of us will go out into the world and adapt. We will become the next craftsmen, teachers, doctors, politicians. But no matter what role it fills, the rose always symbolizes peace, purity, and justice. So, as graduates of Springstead, we should strive with those same values to leave our own legacy by making the world a better place than the world in which we have lived. Without further ado, let's graduate. Hi, I'm Kaylee Wendell, and I've been representing the class of 2020 as a class officer for the past four years. I'm here to talk about our senior class song, my Wish by Rascal Flatts. Throughout our years here at Springstead, we have had to overcome many things in order to reach this point. Today, we are graduating from not only high school, but our childhood. We have gone through all-nighters, personal hardships, and even a global pandemic. Today, we are celebrating an important milestone and accomplishment that we should all be proud of. My Wish is a song that has uplifting lyrics that serve to remind us to stay positive through anything we may encounter as we begin this new chapter of our lives. To my fellow classmates of the graduating class of 2020, as Rascal Flat sings, my wish for you is that this life becomes all you want it to. Just know that no matter where life takes you after this graduation ceremony, you will take it in stride as you can handle it. As you embark on your journey, my wish for you is that your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. Hi everyone, my name is Riley Wilson and I have loved representing the senior class as an officer. Today, I would like to talk to you all about our senior color white. White is the color of moonlit nights filled with music, dancing, and high school memories. White reminds me of the Friday night lights full of the Eagle Band, the cheerleaders cheers, touchdowns, and Eagle fans. 
The color white is known to represent new beginnings and wiping the slate clean. It is a blank canvas waiting to be painted on, a blank white page waiting for the writer to fill with words. We can take this blank slate as a new beginning and create our own story, song, or poem with our lives. So, as we move forward with our lives and start our own new beginning, let's all remember the fun times of high school and the mark we will leave on the world. I am thankful for the adults and students that I've worked with here. They have shaped us all to the people we are today. I am extremely proud and honored to be a part of the graduating class of 2020. Let's do this. You know who rock. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Haley Nelson, and I'm here to introduce someone that represents our school's pride in academics. She is one of the most hardworking people I know, which inspires me every day to succeed. When we met officially in our junior year, we quickly became great friends. She became someone that I could go to for any problem, no matter how small or irrational, which I appreciate from the bottom of my heart. We always helped each other in subjects that we struggled in, which is one thing I believe helped us grow so close. She is attending the University of Florida and majoring in biochemistry with hopes of becoming a doctor in the future. I am sure that she will make a positive impact on our world with her natural drive to help others. I'd like to introduce our valedictorian, Brianna Navillo. Let me begin by thanking Haley for that beautiful introduction. I'm so honored to be speaking to all of you, but before I begin, I'd like to thank my parents, my teachers, and my fellow classmates for always supporting me and believing in me even when I didn't believe in myself. We've made it to the day we've all been waiting for, graduation. After many years of hard work, we all deserve to be here and everyone should be immensely proud of themselves. Whether you are going to college, enlisting in the military, or beginning a new career, you are now in complete control of your life. And everyone in this graduating class has the determination to make their life successful. I want to recount some of the most impactful experiences here at Springset that allowed me to grow into the individual that I am today. I actually began my high school journey at a different school, and after an unusually difficult freshman year, I transferred to Springset. Throughout my three years here, I learned the fundamental importance of kindness. On my first day, I accidentally stole Tori's seat in chemistry class and immediately thought I had prompted a conflict. However, her kindness and consideration allowed us to become the best of friends. Other small acts of kindness, such as Marcy helping me open my locker, and Dot asking me to sit with her at lunch, manifested themselves into my sense of belonging and drive to succeed. As I received kindness, I wanted to give back to the community. To accomplish this, I worked alongside countless of Springset students and service organizations to clean up our surrounding environment and assist lower income areas. I also worked with Hernando's youth to help them navigate difficult life circumstances. These experiences taught me how greatly I wanted to make a real difference in the world and I saw how my collaborative work was helping me accomplish that goal. Nelson Mandela is a person who changed the world, a civil rights activist and Nobel Peace Prize winner known for terminating apartheid in South Africa. It is in your hands to make a better world for all who live in it. Nelson Mandela lived by these words. Mandela's forgiveness, kindness, compassion, and love for others should inspire us to strive for change. I believe that the world desperately needs kindness and each and every one of us needs to contribute. We all need to band together regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, or any other discriminating factors. We are the generation that will bring change to this world. We are not scared to fight for what we believe in. This has been evident within the class of 2020, whether it's fighting for doors on our bathrooms or for equal rights in the face of corruption and inequality. Our senior year may not have been the most traditional one, but it proves how resilient we are. We need to be the generation that brings love to the world. Although we may think that the problems that are transpiring today are too overwhelming for us to handle, we can make a difference. There is a phenomenon known as the butterfly effect, in which a butterfly flaps its wings on one side of the world, and on the other side of the world, a tornado erupts. Every event, no matter how small, can inadvertently lead to huge impacts on the future. I believe the butterfly effect applies here. Every small act of kindness and of love that each and every one of you makes changes the future for the better. Remember the compassion and care that your teachers, classmates, administrators, and coaches showed you, and pass it forward. When we care for each other, we can help each other, and we can work together to build each other up, conserve the environment, and struggle for what is just. 
We need to use this magnificent education that we have received to enlighten others and work toward equality, fairness, and love. I know that this class will be the one to revolutionize the world. Thank you. Hello, Springstead High School students, families, and staff. As school superintendent, one of my happiest moments is to take a few moments to congratulate each year's graduating class on their achievement. It's always a highlight for me, especially this year. While commencement 2020 is different this year, I am speaking to you from a distance because we are all working to defeat the threat to our public health. This is certainly not the way we'd hoped it would be. It's true, the last part of your senior year brought a few disappointments, but today, today is a day for celebration. Today you are a graduate. Each of you holds a diploma that will forever document the fact that you did it. You succeeded against challenging academic setbacks and earned the grade. If you got cut, you went out for another team. If you got hurt, you found your way to healing. Where you saw others struggle, you found ways to help. And when faced with a threat from a virus, you shifted to an online classroom and made connections on Zoom. Despite this unusual situation, you kept going. You understood that if we want to reach our goals, we must be focused and strong. Chuck Norris, someone who knows a little bit about being tough, said, the only time you lose at something is when you don't learn from that experience. Class of 2020, you did learn and you are stronger for it. You are ready for whatever the world holds for you and you are prepared to face whatever the future brings. In fact, we look forward to seeing what unknowns you would discover, what beauty you would create, what families you would shape, and what thoughtful citizens you will become. You see, we have no doubt that you will persevere because we watched you on your journey. You proved it to your teachers and your family. You showed us there is little you can't do. I encourage you to remember that journey today and let this accomplishment bring you strength for tomorrow and many years beyond. So to the Eagles of Springstead High, on behalf of the school board and the entire staff of the Hernando County School District, we congratulate you and wish you good health and all the very best. Hey guys, my name is Dot Webeck and I would like to introduce a person who all the students know and love. She has been a part of the Springside community for 10 years and has served the students in many roles. She has been an assessment coordinator, gifted teacher, and vice principal until becoming a principal this past school year. Mrs. Pierce has been a source of encouragement and positivity for faculty, staff, and students. Every morning she stands outside to greet the students as they arrive at school. She never fails to smile and shed a light of positivity even in dark times. I know I can speak for other students when I say I will remember her energy and encouragement as I move on to the next phase of my education and my life. I would like to thank her for everything she has done for the school and for her unending passion and dedication to the whole Springstead family. I now invite Mrs. Dana Pierce to give her remarks on the graduating class of 2020. Good evening, honored guests, graduates, family, and friends. This is certainly not what I pictured when I dreamt of the day that I would be the principal of Springstead High School giving this speech at the graduation ceremony. I feel all of your disappointments deeply as I am disappointed myself. I have been attending Evening of Excellence, prom, grad bash, and graduation at Springstead High School for the past eight years and desperately miss not having those memories this year. Hopefully, we have made some other memories for you to have. You will have memories that no other class before you has had, and hopefully, no class after. So that makes you unique, which you are, for these and many other reasons. I love a quote I found from Emma Stone, and she says, what sets you apart can sometimes feel like a burden, and it's not, and a lot of the time, it's what makes you great. The burdens of this year have certainly made you even greater. You have taken our theme, Rise Up, and met every challenge that has come your way. We call this a commencement, and I believe it is, because although it is a celebration of all your achievements and accomplishments from the past 13 years, it is also a celebration of all the things to come. Graduation is the proverbial door that is closing while another door opens. You will now be entering the next chapter in your life, whether that be college, the military, vocational school, or the workforce. 
You will take with you all the hopes and dreams and well wishes of those that have supported you through the years. Take this opportunity to reach out to those teachers and mentors and thank them for that support. As you move on your way, please remember that you will always have a nest to come back to. Your teachers and I are always excited to see our Eagles come back to share your accomplishments with us. We especially appreciate those of you that move into education and then come back here to teach. In the words of Rascal Flatts, this is my wish. I hope you know somebody loves you. May all your dreams stay big. Please know that I love you all and my wish for you, all of you, is that all your dreams come true. Continue to soar while you rise up to all the challenges you are going to face. Congratulations, you know who rocks.
up in the mirror, memories take me back Fixing up my tie, straightening up my cap Whoever thought that we ever would see this day The path that we paved is narrow, no arrows to point the way I look back and wanna laugh like crazy parties and mad fights And all the times I stay home studying yeah, right, we did it big, walk with me on this last night Carry that flame, keep walking, baby, that's right And look at us now, we standing so proud In front of the crowd like yesterday, I was just a child Remember them days of running in the streets Used to ride our bikes around before we even had the keys Now, no time to grieve, some of us will get degrees Some of us overseas, some of us will never leave Until my people couldn't be here, may you rest in peace here with me on graduation Like yo, I saved you a seat And no matter how far we fall apart You always have a piece in my heart I can't believe that you're gone So goodbye to adolescence Detentions and suspensions Never stop with the questions What we learn in these lessons Find our memories and never leave us Destiny you need us, man I might have even like some of them teachers Don't shed no tears Can't wait to leave But there was so much here This is where we had our first love Our high school years The nights we can't remember and ones we'll never forget Everything we treasure, even something that you said Homecoming relationships, chasing chicks, taking trips Food fights, prom nights, ball games, Friday night lights Misbehaving, pre-gaming, and party at the Hojo Jersey Shore and the girl that I got with on the low low Talent show, best dress, the rock the fly, slow go What happens if them kids, I don't know where they go Yeah, all my girls that I'm a miss to All of my homies, all the crazy things we did Staying away from the police, academics and athletics Man, look at all the trophies I won the five years, would you know me? But as we reminisce, always remember this We rocked it to the end of it, this is the next genesis Generation X is what we label, say you breath with it We ain't starting the fire, but you never see the end of it I feel obliged to open these young minds Your dreams ain't a mirage, you can do it, baby, grind I was told life fly in the blink of an eye So ride, let the music play the soundtrack of our lives
up my tie, straighten up my cap. Whoever thought that we ever would see the state of path to be paved is narrow, no arrows to point the way. I look back and want to laugh like crazy parties and mad fights and all the times I stay home studying. Yeah, right. We did it big. Walk with me on this last night. Carry that flame. Keep walking, baby. That's right. And look at us now. We standing so proud and Front of the crowd like yesterday, I was just a child Remember them days of running in the streets Used to ride our bikes around before we even had the keys Now, no time to grieve, some of us will get degrees Some of us overseas, some of us will never leave Until my people couldn't be here, may you rest in peace You here with me, your graduation Like yo, I saved you a seat And no matter how far we fall apart You'll always have a piece of my heart I can't believe that you're gone So goodbye to adolescence Tensions and suspensions never stop with the questions. What we learn in these lessons, find our memories will never leave us. Destiny, you need us, man. I might have even like some of them teachers. Don't shed no tears, can't wait to leave. But there was so much here. This is where we had our first love, our high school years. To the nights we can't remember and ones we'll never forget Everything we treasure, even something that you said Homecoming relationships, chasing chicks, taking trips Food fights, prom nights, ball games, Friday night lights Misbehaving, pre-gaming and party at the hojo Josie Shore and the girl that I got with on the low low Talent show, best dress, you rock the fly, slow go What happens in them years, I don't know where they go Yeah, all my girls that I'ma miss center All of my homies, all the crazy things we did Staying away from the police, academics and athletics Man, look at all the trophies I want the five years, would you know me? But as we reminisce, we always remember this We rocked it to the end of it, this is the next genesis Generation X is what we label, say breath with it We ain't starting the fire, but you'll never see the end of it 
deal obliged to open these young minds Your dreams ain't a mirage, you can do it, baby, grind I was told life fly in the blink of an eye So ride, let the music play the soundtrack of our lives
Board of Hernando County. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Springstead High School, it is indeed my pleasure to certify that these members of the 2020 graduating class have satisfactorily completed all requirements of the law and standards for high school graduation as prescribed by the State Board of Education, the District School Board of Hernando County, and Springstead High School, and should thus be awarded a diploma or a certificate of completion. <laughs> Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything More than anything I hope you dance That dream I'm dreaming There's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it But I, I gotta keep trying Gotta keep my head held high My wish for you Is that this life becomes all that you want it to Your dreams stay big your worries stay small You never need to carry more than you can hold But while you're out there getting where you're getting to I hope you know somebody loves you And wants the same things to Yeah, this is my wish Hope when you take that jump You don't feel the fall Hope when the wild 
water rises, you build a wall. And hope when the crowd screams out, the screaming your name. Hope if everybody runs, you'll say, It's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other So paper thin Like a house of cards One blow from caving in Do you ever feel Feel the rain on your skin No one else can feel it for you Only you can let it in No one else, no one else Can speak the words on your lips Treat yourself in words unspoken Live your life with arms wide open Today is where your book begins You just gotta ignite the light and let Let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find Reaching for something in the distance So close you can almost taste it Release your inhibitions 
midst of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Had the time of my life No one ever felt like this before Yes, I swear, it's the truth And I owe it all to you I've had the time of my life No, I never felt like this before Forever young, I wanna be forever young Do you really wanna live forever, forever and never Time of your life